guys, today I am working on some soap paste. I uh, ran out here with my last batch of sugar scrubs. I use my soap paste to or soap paste to make my foaming sugar scrubs, my shave creams, um, uh, liquid soaps, all kinds of good stuff. Um, even gonna maybe try a face wash down the road. So I just have my oils here all melted down in the crock pot and I am adding in my sodium hydroxide and my potassium hydroxide and water to the liquids or the melted down oils here. And I'm just going to blend for quite a while. I uh, need to get it to trace. Um, as you can see, step number one would be plugging in the blender. Uh, once I have the blender plugged in, I am good to go and I can start mixing up my lye solutions with my oils. This does take a little while to blend through, which is all good. I do this first thing in the morning usually because I do have to keep a fairly close eye on this one. So I'm hoping not to have too much uh, distractions with customers as I may have to leave the customer just to deal with the paste as it's cooking. But overall, it's not too terribly bad. You can see that everything's thickening up here really nicely, starting to get exactly the way I want it to be. I'm in the office today at the shop. Um, it's Thursday. And... Uh, just trying to get things still caught up. I just find I'm really far behind uh, just after Christmas Eve uh, or the Christmas week there. Everybody really kind of cleaned me out of stuff so still just really trying to get everything restocked for you guys. I have to still wrap the shampoo bars. Um, the rose soap is now ready. The rose bouquet soap um, is ready that one is a beautiful soap um if you like the smell of roses this this is a really good one um you'll see i'm just checking here to see if it's at trace yet i might have a light trace going on um, but i'd like to see just a little bit more so i'm going to keep stirring a little longer here um, what else do i have to do today wrap the shampoo bars wrap the rose soap um, I have to get the bath salts all packaged. I did make them up yesterday. Um, I didn't film the making of them. Uh, I'll try maybe to film the packaging for you guys so you can see the different fragrances and uh, salts that I did. I didn't end up doing a ton of the teas. Um, turns out the tea bags that I bought are like literal tea bags like you would get your Lipton tea in. So you can't really see all the pretty salts and flowers and colors in them. I don't think I realized that when I bought these. So I'm trying to think of a way to package them that you'll still have interest in the products that are inside of them. I'm just not sure. I'm gonna have to stew on that a little bit more. So I popped away there for about 10, or I was supposed to pop away for about 10 minutes. I was only gone for five. Um, my paste here had started to, uh, I call it volcanoing, but when it starts to rise, um, it's really interesting. Sometimes it's no big deal. You just pop in like I did. You gotta keep a close eye on it. It starts to rise. You smoosh it all back down and life is good. Um, other times, though, I find I don't have to do it at all. Or then there's another time where it will just be out of control and I'm really having to get in there and stir it and force it and beat it down again. 
Um, this, I would say, would probably be just about average. It was starting to rise, so I got in here and gave it a really good stir down. You'll notice that I, I came rushing in all stressed about it and forgot my gloves, so I had to add one, and then I added the other. Starting to get a little bit thicker here and a little harder to work with, so the cook is going really well. All looking mashed potato-y the way it should be. I'm just going to scrape off as much as I can off of my stick blender here back into the pot and then uh, I'll put the lid back on and leave it for another five minutes and again just keeping a close eye on it wanting to make sure that it doesn't volcano and if it does volcano that I'm there to address it and get it uh, stirred in really good and beat back down again. I have been very lucky not to have a volcano all over the place, but many soapers definitely have had uh, that happen to them. It's not <laughs> uncommon. So the five minutes have passed and I've just come back in and given it another really good stir and just making sure that everything's looking good. It's starting to look, um, Kind of get to that Vaseline stage that you're wanting to see in your soap paste, kind of multiple stages that they go through there. So we've got, you know, your mashed potato or your trace, then your mashed potato, then your Vaseline. Here you'll notice I am starting to add in my goat's milk. I add it at the end just because the cooking is so hot that it'll actually burn the milk and you can get a really of a nasty scent to it. So once we hit here, we're already down to low setting. Um, it's not such a high heat. Um, not to say that this isn't hot, it's hot. Um, but I find that if I add it at this stage, I'm not in a situation where my milk's getting burnt. So I'm just mixing it in really well. And making sure that the milk and it gets incorporated in into all of that soap so that it can be absorbed um, into everything and then it will go through the saponification process with the rest of the batch. I'm forever cleaning my stick blender. This is the reason guys right here why I don't make hot process soap very often. Um, I'm a cold process girl. I feel like it's less messy. There, you're always messing around with this. Um, soap and paste and my melt and pour are definitely the hot process method. Um, and I don't mind doing it every once in a while, but to have this messy, gloopy stuff all the time, nah, I really like the cold process, the nice, easy, pourable liquids that I have to deal with there. So I've left it for another five minutes there to cook again with the milk incorporated in it and just coming back and making sure that it is looking good throughout kind of that Vaseline stages throughout the entire batch, which it is. I'm super happy with the way that it's looking. So now I am going to put the lid on and be done.